I just ran up two hills. Figured I'd end week three with a bang. Let's go. Week three. Wow. Give it up for week three. Oh my goodness, y'all. When I first started this, I did not think I would be here only because I've started fitness journeys and challenges and stuff like that before several times and I only can make it to about seven days. I've never been this consistent before ever. So the fact that I'm sitting here after 21 days, over 21 days of walking 15 thousand steps every single day is blowing my mind the fact that I'm changing so rapidly mentally physically emotionally etc this is absolutely insane this week I really pushed myself if you've watched my first two weekly check-ins week one and week two you notice that I kind of did an average of 15,000 steps so one day I might have done 14,000 or 13,000 but another day I might have done 16,000 or 17,000 to make up for it and it always averaged out to 15,000 steps but this week I genuinely made it a point to make sure that I was walking over 15,000 steps every single day. So the average, I think actually my average for this week was higher than 15,000. It was probably at 16,000. And I couldn't be more proud of myself. I'm coming to enjoy this. I'm starting to push past the, I'm too tired, I don't feel like it. That was last week. And I'm not gonna say this week was harder or easier than last week, but I realized it's mostly a mind over matter thing. If you tell yourself that you don't feel like doing this, that you can't do it, you're not going to do it. I've learned a lot of things and I wanna share with you guys what I've learned since walking 15,000 steps a day for three weeks, all right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I didn't just catch you finna watch my video without hitting that subscribe button. Listen, you're not safe from the journey to 100,000 subscribers. So are you in or out? Be there or hear about it. Pick one, pick one. Now, but with that being said, let's get right into the video. The first thing I learned was that I didn't believe in myself. I didn't truly, actually believe that I could lose weight, that I could be consistent, that I could walk 15,000 steps every single day. It sounds good to talk about it. I've always been about that talk. I've always been a good talker, but I've never been about that action and that's really what separates people who's about that action and who's just talking and once I made that shift y'all you can't tell me nothing my confidence has exploded the way I think about myself the way I talk about myself the way I feel about myself most importantly has changed and it's due to proving to myself that I can be consistent that I can do what I say I'm gonna do and that I can stick to it I didn't think I could do it y'all why why didn't I think I can do it because I've never done it before and because I thought so low of myself that eh, I'm just gonna I'm just saying that like it feels good to hype yourself up and say that oh you can do something but deep down I knew I couldn't do it because if I thought I could do it and if I believed in myself then in the past all the times when I started my fitness journey I never would have quit after seven days I never would have quit guys I wasted so much time wishing and wanting results but not doing anything about it not doing anything to get it that's why they say faith without works is dead because you can sit there and wish and want and talk all you want you say you're gonna do something talk about how you're gonna do something and then never do it that was me for years I wasted so much time let me show y'all something Thing. This is an old journal of mine and as you can see this journal is full. I love writing. I love journaling. I think I started this journal as a way to cope with what I was going through and what I was feeling. The first and this is relevant. Okay, so hang with me. I'm making a point here. The first entry on this journal is from November 2021 and then the last journal before I ran out of space the last entry was around May of 2023. And I can tell y'all right now without even reading a page, I wrote about the same thing 
for two years. I hate my job. I feel like I'm put on this earth to do more than just work a job I hate, pay bills, and die. I want to change my life. I want to lose weight. I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I wrote the same thing in this journal for so long, for years. I started a new journal and I caught myself starting to write about the same things. It wasn't until I started my journey of walking 15,000 steps every single day that I realized that the only thing missing was getting my butt up and putting the work in. You can want and wish and hope for something with all your heart and soul, write it down, manifest it, read self-help books, all you want, but you're not gonna get anywhere if you're just sitting down not doing nothing. And that's what I was doing. And that wasn't getting me anywhere. I wrote my goals down a million times. I wrote down, I'm so happy and grateful now that I've accomplished my goals. I wrote it down a million times. And you know what? A part of me, I feel like didn't even feel like I I could get closer to my goals or I, I felt like I wasn't going anywhere. I felt so stagnant. I felt like I wasn't accomplishing anything. Even though like I graduated college, I would get a new job. I moved across the country twice. Even though I was doing things, I felt like my life wasn't going anywhere because I wasn't being true to myself. I wasn't stepping into my power and putting action behind my words. I was doing little things, yes, and yes, those are accomplishments, but I didn't feel like my life was moving. Even now, I feel like my life has moved forward now in these three weeks that I've been consistent than it has in the past three years. And that's because now that I'm finally consistent, now that I finally have the discipline that I've been missing, I trust myself and I believe myself now. When I say I'm gonna hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, I believe it because I've shown myself that I can and I have been putting in the work. When I tell myself that I want to lose 50 pounds, I believe it. I can see it. I can visualize it. I believe myself because I'm not just saying that I want these things laying in bed on my phone all day every day and then at the end of the day wondering why nothing has changed because the thing is God will not bless the work you pretend to put in. He knows really what's going on you know really what's going on so if you're sitting here and wondering why your life isn't changing why you feel stuck be real with yourself I had to get real with myself I'm not doing anything to make my dreams come true I said I wanted financial freedom and I wanted to be healthy I wanted a fit body and all this other stuff but I wasn't doing anything to get me closer to that goal and I was sitting and wondering when is my life gonna change it's gonna change when you get up and once I I finally realized that and I got up and I started working. Now I can see it. I can see the 100,000 subscriber plaque with my name on it. I can see it. Why? Because I've been consistently uploading two, three times a week, at least every single week. Before I was saying this and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna upload one video every week. That wasn't getting me nowhere. That was not getting me nowhere. It wasn't until I started putting the work in consistently that I could finally build that momentum and see myself going in a positive direction. And that's what keeps me going even when the scale doesn't move, even when I don't feel like getting up. That's what keeps me going. The fact that I've already built up this momentum and i I put the work in, it feels good. That's why they say fall in love with the journey. Fall in love with the journey. Don't get attached to the outcome. Fall in love with the journey because once you choose a goal or an outcome, you spend more time in the journey than the goal. You spend more time putting in the work consistently every single day before you see those results. So I'm falling in love with the actions that I'm doing every day. Every time I go on my walk, even when I don't feel like it, when I finish my walk, I feel so good. I feel so accomplished. I feel so proud of myself. I might not have lost 10 pounds in that little walk, but I feel great. I feel better. I feel like I'm working towards something and that's all I've wanted. I have wrote about that in my journal before. I'm just like, I just want to consistently work towards something every single day so I feel like I'm doing something. So I feel like I'm working towards something. So I feel like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. When you're just aimlessly not doing anything, there is no direction. There is no tunnel, much less a light at the end of the tunnel. So 
I finally see it. I finally have the vision. I finally can see where I'm headed. I see the steps that I'm taking and I know what steps to take. I have my goals, 100,000 subscribers, lose 50 pounds, et cetera, et cetera. And I know what I need to do. So when I'm not taking that action, then I'm like, okay, it makes sense that I'm not getting closer to my goals because I'm not doing anything. But when I'm making my videos, editing my videos, recording, filming, taking pictures, editing thumbnails, all that good stuff. I know I'm working towards my goal of 100K. When I'm going on my walk every single day, I know I'm working towards my goal of losing weight. And that's the headspace I'm in for week three, y'all. My bad. Y'all see, I'm getting passionate. I'm over here talking that talk and walking the walk. No pun intended. But I just feel so good. And I'm seeing results, y'all. I'm seeing results. My clothes are starting to fit differently. The scale is moving. I feel skinnier. <laughs> no, but I'm not waking up bloated. My stomach is flatter. Y'all, I even feel like I'm losing weight for my face. I took a selfie the other day and I was like, am I crazy or does my face look thinner? I'm gonna insert the picture and y'all let me know. Does my face look slimmer? Am I going crazy? I've been trying to go back to my old videos and look and compare my face or look at my old selfies and I'm like, I feel like my face is getting slimmer. They say the first places you lose weight from is your back and your face. And I feel like I see it. I've been posting these before and after pictures, y'all see it too. And that is part of what keeps me going because I'm like, okay, I'm seeing these results. If I go another week, I will see more results. Losing weight and seeing that scale move, I'm like, okay, let me tell y'all how much weight I've lost so far. Because y'all know when I started about three weeks ago, I was 183 pounds. Today, I stepped on the scale and I was 175 pounds. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, I'm actually losing weight. I've lost eight pounds so far. Is that not amazing? Just from walking, well, walking and eating less, but I still been eating the stuff that I like to eat, the snacks and the foods. I've also been eating more vegetables and more healthy stuff, but I haven't really been like on a super strict, crazy diet. This is the lowest weight I've been in a year. I haven't been 175 pounds since November of 2023. So I am losing weight. This is not just the little scale fluctuation. This is intentional results from intentional work. And I am so proud out of myself. <laughs> I'm really happy y'all. I'm super happy. So the fact that I've almost lost 10 pounds, I feel like by the end of the month, I'll probably have lost 10 pounds, if not a little over 10 pounds. 15 pounds, is that too much? No, but the fact that I am doing this in a sustainable and healthy way, I used to be so obsessed. I wanted to lose 20 pounds in a day. I wanted to lose 50 pounds in a week. Like I didn't have time. I just wanted to immediate results but I find that this way is better taking care of your body feeding yourself nutritious healthy sustainable meals and watching how that affects how you feel how you look etc it's nothing more rewarding these three weeks flew by before I would try to start and I'd be like oh, I'll start tomorrow mm, I want to eat something I'll start tomorrow I'll st and then the, tomorrow turned into never and now that I'm actually just keep going these three weeks have flown by can you imagine if I didn't start I wouldn't be where I am now and the more time goes by the further and further and further away from the beginning I'm getting and the closer and closer and closer I'm getting to my goal and that's how it works and I'm so happy that I'm doing this sustainably I'm so happy that I'm doing this in a way that's not unhealthy that's not like negative or it's not putting me in a bad headspace I'm proud of the pace I'm going at I'm proud of how consistent I have been and I can't wait I mean I can wait but I can't wait I'm so excited I'm like starting to imagine Imagine myself 50 pounds down and I'm like dang I mean I know the outfits are gonna go crazy that's what I'm excited for because I love fashion I know it's so silly but if that's what keeps me motivated then so be it
it, okay? Whatever keeps you motivated, whatever you need to think about to keep you going when you don't feel like it, that's what you need to think about it and don't feel no shame about it, okay? You know what I wasn't actually prepared for? I feel like I'm the most excited. Like, yeah, my friends and family, they're supportive, but I feel like I am in y'all. People you don't know, strangers on the internet will support you more than your friends and family. I mean, I'm sure I'm getting all my family and my friends nerves talking about y'all. Oh my God, today's day 21 of walking. Y'all, I've been walking. Da, 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 da. And they're just like, okay, like, okay, good for you. Like, we get it. Okay, that's good. Keep it up. But but then people on the internet are just like, yes, keep going. I'm on day 15. And yes, we got this. Let's do it. You inspiring me. Woohoo. Like, it's like people, you know, it's like they don't even want to admit the fact that you're doing something good. But it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Okay. I've seen people talk about this. The reason why I'm bringing it up is because I've seen people talk about how like, oh, I've lost weight and people are saying like, oh, you're getting too skinny. Like what? When you was big, they were saying you big and then you started losing weight. They're like, oh, don't lose too much weight. People start getting threatened. I don't worry too much about that though, y'all. I really don't. I just, it's just something I peep and keep it pushing. I just peep. And I'm like, okay, I usually wouldn't even spend energy talking about it, but I just peep it. I just peep it. I'm just like, mm cool anywho but I'm gonna keep going I'm too excited I'm too hype I'm too happy don't let anybody else get in your head and make you not excited or make you feel like you don't want to share it only people who feel threatened or jealous are gonna feel like you're bragging if you are sharing your accomplishments and you're with people and you feel like you're bragging or they make you feel like you're bragging that's not the energy you need to be surrounded by Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't even play that I really don't because nobody knows the battle but you nobody knows the internal battle how hard it is how much you've had to overcome how many days you're laying in bed you don't even want to get up but you just getting out of bed feels like an accomplishment much less going out there and working towards your goals nobody knows the struggle for real people are just too obsessed with humbling people but it's really projecting I'm not gonna get into that y'all I'm still excited I'm still keeping up the energy I'm still posting about it I'm still talking about it and I still feel great and I'm not gonna let anybody make me feel otherwise okay so anywho now I'm gonna show y'all my before and after pictures Like I said, y'all, I see a difference. I see the difference, okay? I know y'all see the difference. I'm losing weight. My body's changing. I feel great, okay? So y'all can't tell me nothing because I'm feeling myself. But no, I'm just super proud. I'm really just proud. Like I said, I didn't think that I could do it. And now I know I can do it. So I'm just so happy for what the future has in store because I know this is just the beginning. And I'm so happy that y'all are here to watch the journey. I really hope that y'all stick around around for when I hit my goals so y'all can be like I remember when you was on week one I remember when it was just week three like I'm celebrating y'all y'all are celebrating me and this is just chef's kiss like supporting each other like I couldn't ask for a better community y'all but like I said this is only the beginning and we're just gonna keep on going okay so y'all that is all I have for you guys today I'm so happy to say that the next time I check in, it will have been a whole month of walking 15,000 steps every single day. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Even when I'm tired, even when I don't feel like it, I'm still so happy. Above all else, I'm just so happy and grateful. And thank you guys for supporting me and coming on this journey along with me. I will see y'all in the next video.